friends this video is from interview.com interview.com is a job portal welcome to jquery tutorial in this video i am going to talk about how to put jquery code in an external js file and start using it in my html page in the previous video i was using a, a file called hello world.html you can see here it contains html code plus the jquery code now the, in this video the intention is the goal is i want to remove this code from this html you can ask me why why should we remove jquery code from html and use it in a separate file because it is useful for maintenance you are segregating the html code and the jquery code it is use e easy for maintenance and for debugging it will be really good this is a very simple code that's why it might it might not not be useful but if if you're working in a bigger project the code will be huge and it's very tough to maintain and for debugging it will be really tough so that's why you should know how to put the jquery code in an external file and start using it so the goal here is to remove this code then i've done this already so i've removed the jquery code and placed it in a hello world.js file and if you see here it, is, it looks very simple and readable and i have included that new file js file in my html page so very simple in the html page i have removed the jquery code and placed it in a j separate js file then i am including the js file in the html page so i have completely removed put the jquery code in an external js file let me show you the demo so that you can understand so the same uh, demo when i click on this button this paragraph sp uh, happy jquery learning will be removed and an alert message will be popped up so if you see here we are getting an alert message and the and the paragraph has been removed so if you see the code i've done the same thing but i've removed the jquery code to an external file and i'm start including in the html page okay so now it looks very short and very simple and only contains jquery uh, only contains html code and this file contains only jquery code okay so this is easy for maintenance and debugging hope this video is useful and informative in the next video we will talk about jquery apis other apis available thank you and all the best